Recently, South Carolina and several other Republican states sued to keep a Trump era Im immigration policy in effect. Today, the U.S. Supreme Court has issued an emergency order that keeps the COVID era re restrictions on immigration in place along the southern border, at least for now. The ruling on what is often referred to as Title 42 came down this afternoon. The policy blocks migrants from entering the U.S. for public health reasons. Skylar Henry has more. In a 5-4 to four vote, the Supreme Court mandated the Biden administration cannot end Title 42, the Trump-era policy that limits entry into the United States because of COVID. More than a dozen Republican governors had sued to keep the policy in place, arguing lifting it would lead to an even greater number of migrants crossing the border. But in his dissenting opinion, Justice Neil Gorsuch wrote, the policy's fate should fall on elected officials, adding, we are a court of law, not policymakers of last resort. President Biden isn't pleased with the ruling. And uh, in the meantime, we have to enforce it, but I think it's overdue. It's here in the streets, we've had a terrible time. The high court's ruling comes as the situation at the border in El Paso, Texas, becomes more desperate. I went to a shelter, but they told me no. It's just for women and children. So we're here waiting for our family to send us more money so we can continue our trip. El Paso has extended its state of emergency. People are sleeping on downtown streets. There are babies, there are little kids here, there, there are all kinds of people here. The Supreme Court says it will begin hearing arguments from both sides about the future of Title 42 in February. A final ruling could come next summer. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington. Title 42 refers to a law created in 1944 about public health. President Donald Trump put that law into action at the beginning of the pandemic. It allows people requesting asylum to be turned away at the border to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Since the policy has been in place, more than 2 million asylum seekers have been denied entry to the U.S.